Hello and welcome back and this is a new lecture in the course of short story and we will encounter new concepts and new modes and new theories in the realm of short story. Today we will talk about different types of conflicts and uh, uh, these five types of conflicts are the most recurrent and the most apparent uh, in the world of short story and one of these five uh, conflicts should appear uh, in short story because uh, as you all know that a short story depends on a certain type of conflict uh, so these five types are the most apparent in this uh, genre number one person against person conflict number two person against self conflict number three person against culture conflict number four person against fate or God conflict and number five person against society conflict so uh, we are going to shed some light uh, just an introduction about each point and let's start with the first one which is person against person conflict it is a type of conflict where one character has a problem with another character this is very general very normal this is very foundational type of conflict that two person are in conflict they uh, argue over something that there is not consensus among them uh, there is some disagreement uh, between two or three or a group of people uh, that's why this is the most uh, fundamental and introductory type of conflict that's one person has a problem or a conflict with another person this is we all know about uh, we watch this type of conflict in most of the movies and we read them in most of the stories and novels number two we have person against self conflict it is a type of conflict where a character struggles with himself or herself usually over their beliefs actions or decisions uh, this type of conflict is mostly apparent in short stories if you remember the introductory lecture on this course that uh, the difference between short story and novel is that short story is a short uh, type of genre that uh, tries to focus on the most elementary uh, things in genre in fiction that's why there is no place for explanation there is no place for uh, writing as much as uh, the writer wants that's why he should keep the story very short and one of the best way to keep the short uh, the story short is through putting uh, an internal psychological conflict for the character for the protagonist the protagonist is always in conflict with himself the protagonist the hero is always in conflict with with his decisions with his actions with his beliefs he always tries to find a better way to change his life he always tries to challenge his beliefs his his decisions and he tries to find an alternative to those decisions he tries to find uh, better better decisions better beliefs he tries to correct his life and that's why he is always in conflict with himself uh, trying to find a better way trying to find better decisions and and actions in his lives uh, that's why this type of conflict with psychological type of conflict the internal type of conflict is so apparent and recurrent in short story let's move to the third one person against nature conflict it is a type of conflict where the character struggles against an element of nature such as a tornado or earthquake here we have this type of conflict where a person tries to face the catastrophe of the nature he tries to face the challenges of the nature of the universe of the world like that of a flood like that of a tornado or earthquake like that famous movie uh, 2012 we have that uh, apocalyptic movie that the end of the world is near we have the, the the volcanoes are erupting we have that those great earthquakes which are swallowing everything the world is swallowing everything the buildings are going down beneath the earth the world is going down it is collapsing it is the end of the world and then we have that uh, the, the the coming of the great flood that 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 uh, overwhelms everything overwhelms the entire world that's why we have those characters who are struggling against 
this greater power of the nature uh, facing the problems, the challenges of the nature like that of earthquake, tornadoes, volcanoes or floods. And these, these appear much less than other types of conflicts because in short story, as we said, that the, the, the writer does not have enough space to elaborate on these problems. That's why he tries to keep himself within the limits of a house, the limits of a room, or, or uh, the limits of a small place. There is no place for elaboration and talking about greater issues, greater problems in the world. Uh, and number four, we have person against fate or God. It is a type of conflict where the character struggles with problems that seem out of his control. Uh, again, this type of, of uh, conflict is very interesting, uh, where the character tries to change his fate, tries to challenge uh, the decisions of, of some supernatural power of God, like God, okay? He tries to change those uh, challenges those decisions that are created by fate so uh, uh, he this is this type of, of conflict this type of of, uh, of uh, challenge is the greatest type because God fate these two concepts are are greater than anything uh, in our imagination greater than our psychology greater than our world so uh, this type of conflict with God, with fate, it demands a very special type of character. He needs to be so powerful that he has that capacity to face God or his fate. That's why uh, once we find this type of character who is ready to change, to challenge or to face his fate or God, we should uh, think with ourselves that this type of character, this protagonist, is very special, is so powerful and so challenging. And uh, again, this is a very interesting. We find this type of challenge and conflict so recurrent and apparent in short story. And the last type of conflict we have today is person against society conflict. It is a type of conflict where a character has a problem with a culture's rule laws or traditions again uh, this type of, of uh, conflict or challenge it, this type of conflict we find them uh, mostly in novels in in greater writings uh, where the, the the character tries to challenge his society of course we find this type of, of conflict in short story as well uh, so here we have uh, the character the protagonist trying to face his society, the corruption of the society, the degeneration of the society, the bad conditions, the bad circumstances of the society. Uh, this type of, of challenge, this type of conflict with the society, with the greater society, it appeared mostly after, after uh, the Industrial Revolution where the world changed. It changed. It, it, is, it was no longer uh, the previous one. Uh, we have that degeneration, the fall of the society, the fall of morality, the fall of ethics. So here uh, the, the character, the protagonist tries to challenge to face the society by taking certain decisions, by isolating himself, by finding some isolation or, or, or try, he tries to uh, solve the problems from his own perspective. By, by, for example, going away from the society uh, and finally we see that he does not have that power to change the, size, the society, so he retrieves. This is the typical type of, of uh, this type of conflict. So, uh, we have other types of conflicts, but for today, these five are the most important and the most recurrent in short story and in fiction in general. So, thank you for watching and stay tuned for the coming lectures. Bye-bye.